next speaker is uh, no needs no introduction, but uh, let me say a few things about her. To say writing is in the blood in the Barkhouse clan would be an understatement, really. Janet Barkhouse's mother is Joyce Barkhouse, the author of Pit Pony, which of course was not only a brilliant YA book, but also a television series. Janet's cousin is uh, Margaret Atwood. And, uh, really, um, Janet's work stands on its own. Uh, a chapbook of her poems entitled Silence is available at Lexicon Books. It was published lo locally by Mid Drumlin Press. A chapbook of her Sable Island poems with photographs by Zoe Lucas is coming out soon. Janet has, Janet has also written uh, the text for a picture book based on her mother's novel for Formac in Halifax. Um, another picture book about hero an heroic girl keeping the lighthouse light on here on the South Shore in the 20s will be published also by Formac this year. Um, last year, Janet and her daughter, Alex Hickey, who has done a ton of work for us over the years and for Curriculum Plus, I hate to say it. Um, <laughs> we're also the singer, songwriter, and writer in residence for the Dalhousie Medical School through their Humanity Heals program. Yes, Thank sorry. you. Yes. Thank you and hi. Um, I, I, why do our local publishers matter? You sort of said it all, but I think that there is also because really largely because of my mother who taught me early on that if we don't know where we come from we don't know ourselves and she believed that to know oneself and to know one's roots and to know where we came from was a very big part of living a rich and full life and i just i guess because she brought me up i agree with her <laughs> and so i mean why does it matter that this small level, reading level 2.8 book, that's very accurate by the way, so Lucas vetted it, yeah. about a trip to Sable Island for young children. Why would it matter if it wasn't published? If, if a local brilliant author had edited it, and a local brilliant author hadn't written free, available online curriculum that is just dazzling about it. It's, it's, it's because I think just in this particular instance, Sable Island is unique in the world, and it's ours. Mm -hmm. Here we are in Nova Scotia with a piece of earth that is beyond words beautiful and interesting, and why should our children know about it? And would a large publisher in another part of the country have bothered? And I think not, and Curriculum Plus did that for Sable Island and me but mostly for Sable Island and children. <laughs> so here's my story that I'd like to tell today about. It's about my mother. Um, she was recognized and given the order, um, made name to the Order of Nova Scotia and the Order of Canada because of the, the kind of belief that she had in telling the stories and the history of Canada and Nova Scotia for children and, and helping them to um, helping those stories to be available to children. She was, for instance, one of the people who started the Writers in the School program that the Writers Federation does, um, uh, sending, teacher, sending um, authors into schools so that they can uh, talk to children and run writing, writing workshops. And I think, anyway, we, all do. we mostly all do them. <laughs> and, um, and, and so, when she wrote Pit Pony, and it was published, it was republished by Formac in Halifax, so it's available as well as the picture book is still available for sale. Um, Andrew Cochran, who was a local person who did Theodore Tugboat, he read that, and Blizzard Island, and he read that story, thanks to my husband, who's sitting there, Craig Howard, who took it to him and said, this is a really good story. <laughs> and he created a sound stage in Glace Bay, and you know what the employment level there is. He created a sound stage, and he teamed local people with professionals from away mm -hmm. who were creating the movie, Pit Pony. Mm -hmm. And when that was done, he, the people who were in Glace Bay, who had learned all those things, started working on the television series. And he was in New York um, on, I guess he was promoting very beautifully made quality toys to do a theater tugboat on Black Monday when the stock markets crashed. 
and he asked the politicians then in his province to give him a bridging loan. And they said no. Hmm? And he went bankrupt, and the soundstage was torn down, and mm -hmm. this movie and the television series were sold to Stars Encore in the States, where they're still available, and mm -hmm. there were no theater tugboat toys made. Mm -hmm. So it's not just that our culture and our world and, and, and our stories locally matter. Right. It's because also they contribute incredibly to our economy. And it seems to me that politicians really don't seem to get that. So that's why I feel we're here waving the flag a little bit, saying support our local publishers, support our authors, the people that tell our stories, that make things happen, or, or that, te that share the stories of things that happen that matter to us. And will benefit ourselves and will you know improve our income and, which does matter i'm not saying it's not important but um my mother probably would think more importantly the culture and the, and the history and the value of living a full life would be the most important thing to her anyway thank you john thank you john thank you.